Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. A lot of you liked our blast from the past papers yesterday in support of the major problems coming with the magnetic pole shift, so we'll do some more blasts from the past today on several topics and get some new stuff as well. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where things are very calm. No solar flares, solar wind at Earth is calming along with geomagnetic conditions. Southern Corona Hole is massive but too far south to impact the Earth, and so with a quiet star, we head to seismicity. 6.7 in Indonesia is the largest rumble for a couple of weeks here on the planet. Luckily, it struck deep beneath Indonesia as a blood echo way down at the low velocity zone. We're also seeing the swarm south of Japan continue. Been going on for a while there now, but luckily staying at moderate magnitude thus far. Up first in the articles that didn't make the cut for the morning show in previous months, we've got the identification of one of the smallest micronova events ever discovered. This one had the energy of an X600 solar flare, which is considerably smaller than what scientists think the sun can do. I remember when micronova weren't even an official thing and we were crazy for suggesting it. They now know of dozens of them. Up next, the Beaufort Gyre. In 2023, we learned it was ready to begin releasing its cold, freshwater climate bomb, and it has indeed begun to do so, but very, very slowly. They actually think it may return to an accumulation phase here, but with more extreme releases coming in the years ahead. Solid article up next, hitting yesterday's topic of major problems coming with geomagnetic excursions, the magnetic pole shifts. They're nailing both Lechamp 1 and 2 here, 48,000 and 42,000 years ago. It is very rare that scientists nail both of the Lechamp events in one study, and moreover, they are tying it here to major abrupt cooling events. Finally, a new one. Tying the strength of Earth's magnetic field to crop yields, including the significant impact of magnetism on plant growth and crop success. It is yet another issue on deck in the years ahead as Earth's magnetic field changes faster and faster. Solid article preprint there. Folks, the rest of the month has a lot going on at Observer Ranch. This weekend, we have the permaculture class. There's also a kids rocket launch program on the 18th as well. We've got Observer Speed Dating, where you can find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. Family homesteading camp the next week. That's going to be fantastic. And that slides into tactical training at the start of August. Next pole shift conference day is August 23rd. And there's also a lot happening as summer turns into the fall, including the major event, The Experience, in October. Folks, there are fewer spots left than fingers on my left hand, or my right hand for that matter. What is the experience? It's the program that made me disciplined, inspired, and in all the ways that matter, harder than a coffin nail. And it's coming to the ranch. Follow the special link below for that one. Everything else is at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.